Hello and welcome to The Pound Trader. I hope you had an amazing week. And in this video, I will be sharing the trades I was able to identify throughout the week of May, week four, 2023. Welcome to the video. So here um, I have a boundary here that just indicates that the week was starting here. So you can see this was Monday, 22nd, May, 2023. And on Monday, I saw lots of rejections at this key level over here. I saw this indecision candle, but I normally don't enter with indecision candles, even though there was a triple top over here. Um, so we can see we have one, no, well, this is gonna take long, <laughs> but you can see we have um, we have a triple top there. We have one, two, and three. So I didn't enter here. I normally enter after I see a bearish engulfing, and so this was my entry on Monday. So I had um, I immediately entered at this time, which was around 4 p.m. My stop loss was around here, and I targeted a one is to two um, down here. But if I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't um, hold that trade. So I ended up closing at around one, uh, one to 1.5 RR. Um, I saw these wicks over here and I didn't really like them. Normally, even though um, it's broken this level and going for a retracement, I normally like expect just one candle to go up and then continue retracing. But because I held this trade um, till Tuesday, I was okay closing out with um, a one, is to one, to, one to five. So that was my sell trade and I also posted an analysis video of the trade that I was looking for and this was the setup I was able to take. Okay, so on Tuesday here, I was looking for um, a sell opportunity after my TP hit, but I didn't really see any other opportunity. So just Monday and Tuesday was that sell. All right, so on Wednesday now, um, we could see here, normally I adjust my levels and I normally change the color um, the previous day's low and high, which was around over here. Now on Wednesday, I was looking for, if I just go to the four hours so that I can just explain, I saw this um, level over here and for some reason, as soon as I saw this um, bearish engulfing almost at the same point towards um, Tuesday's low, I ended up taking a buy after this engulfing candle. I thought that maybe it had reached um, a point and then soon to retrace. But as you can see, this was an L, okay? So I don't even know why I was looking for buys, but I think it's just because I saw this level closed above. But now that I look at it, I can see that it did end up breaking Tuesday's low. And so when a level ends up breaking Tuesday's low, I think it's just better to stick with the trend because yeah, you can see this buy over here on the four hour. It didn't really make that much sense. So lesson learned, it's okay, it's okay. Um, now that I see it, I do see that the sell opportunity would have been here um here that would have had been the opportunity and maybe to target the channel down there maybe for a one to five or something like that but uh, i didn't take it so that was that so uh wednesday was an l all right so just i'll just move it here just for reference there we go. So um, on Thursday, which is here, um, as you can see, on Thursday, I was looking for sales. Now, if we go to the four hour, we can see that um, the market was still in a push phase. So push phase means basically the market was still extending down towards the sales. So we can see we're still pushing to the downside. And so I was looking for sales to at least this channel over here. Um, so on the one hour, what I was looking for was, um, even if I put my moving averages here, we can see that, okay, the moving averages look a bit messy. So I'm just gonna use with that. I'm just gonna show you without them first. I could see that we were having this sort of trend line towards the downside to continue completing this uh, push phase or um, just the, the, the push phase towards the four hour time frame we can see here. So yes, yeah, so I was still looking for sells to take it down there and I ended up taking a sell trade here um, after this engulfing candle and then a stop loss was there and I targeted a one is to five. So normally when I can see um, we have extended, I might not target a one is to two because the, the move might not end up reaching there unless you're a swing trader and you entered somewhere around here 
and then went with it down then i wanted to would have had worked maybe for this entry here and you can also see that it was a perfect um, break and retest of Tuesday's high over here. I mean, Tuesday's low, sorry. So you can see it came to exactly a Tuesday's low and closed out with a bearish candle there. Um, my stop loss was around 30 pips, so there. And then, yeah, um, a one to seven. I mean, <laughs> a one to, um, one to one to five. So yeah, that was it. Um, on Friday, I was looking for buy um, opportunities to take the retracement up. You can see on the four hour, whenever I see we've approached the uh, trend line channel, I try to see if I can get retracement buys up, but I didn't get the opportunity that I wanted. I was looking for a break and retest. And you can see this opportunity here, as much as it was a pin bar, I didn't take it because I don't trade after New York overlap on Fridays. So on Friday, that was no opportunity for me. And also guys, if you can see, if I could just delete um, these setups, if you can see, if you were like a really patient trader and you were targeting a one is to two, even from here, the trade that I had on Monday, you can see even though the market came to retrace up and almost reached our stop loss, you can see that um, it still didn't take, it didn't take the setup out, right? But because I didn't hold this move, I'm pretty terrified, as I said, working on my psychology. Um, yeah, I didn't hold this opportunity. But you can see, if you were to hold this opportunity, it would have been a nice one is to two. And, you know, without pressure, unlike <laughs> trying to look for setups every day. Yes, so those were my trades of the week. Two wins, one loss, closing out at 3%. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned um, a little something of how I trade and how I approach trading and my setups. My entries are strictly on the one hour time frame, and I also use moving averages um, as, you know, just as confluence. So that's it. Um, please stay tuned for my next video, which will be a forecast of um, June week one, 2023. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to the video to support the channel. Bye bye.